That is a great question because a lot of people actually, uh, Steve, they just think that when you lock a rate, the lender magically takes the money out and locks in your rate on that loan. But what they don't know is that doesn't happen. Real estate agent man. So here I am with Tony Moore. And you have heard him before on parts one, two, and three of preparing for your next mortgage. But now you get to see him in person. And we've got a great topic that shouldn't take a lot of time to get through. But it is something that has become very, very important lately. Uh, and that has to do with extended rate locks. And most people probably don't know what that is or what the reasoning is for it. I actually have a few questions here I want to make sure I ask Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Okay. So first of all, what is a rate lock and how does it affect a buyer's mortgage? Oh, wow. Well, that is a great question to start me off with. <laughs> Stumper. No, no, uh, no warnings <laughs> no here. No warning but, whatsoever. But, but, you know, I know you know the answer because this is like, in you. Absolutely. Okay. So that is a great question because a lot of people actually, uh, Steve, they just think that when you lock a rate, the lender magically takes the money out and locks in your rate on that loan. But what they don't know is that doesn't happen. What the lender does is they just guarantee you that they're going to deliver that rate. So whether rates go up or down, you still are guaranteed that rate. So it could end up costing the lender more money to give you that rate. Absolutely. Okay. It, it literally costs the lender points. They pay the points for the difference of what it costs them to get that rate. So let's say you lock back in uh, October of 2021 when rates were in the 2.875, three and a quarter range, and you locked it and you didn't close for 90 days and the rates were in the five range. They had to pay to buy down that rate to what you locked it at. So that's why lenders don't really want to lock rates for longer than about 30 days. That's correct. That's why every time I've got a buyer coming to you for a mortgage, you're saying, okay, let's get a contract and then we'll lock the rate. Yeah. The shorter the lock period, the better the rate. If they lock a rate and they go past the amount of time it was locked okay. for, what happens there? Great question. So, um, so when we do a lock, we always try to do it for when the closing date's going to be. Or we try to do it if it's like an end loan where the house is being constructed and we close once it's finished, which is called the CO, uh, Certificate of Occupancy. We try to give a little bit of time past that to make sure for any delays. If the loan does not close by the rate lock expiration date, the borrower or somebody has to pay for a rate lock extension. Uh, for us, we co it cost a borrower um, for a short period, for one day, 0.02% of the loan amount per day. Okay. So on a $400,000 deal, that comes out to be about $95. Okay. Day. So not a ridiculous amount of money if it's just for a few days. Correct. But if you were supposed to be doing a, a 30 day closing and now all of a sudden it's, you know, two days before closing and something happens somewhere and now you need an extension for two weeks. Right. Well, now you're getting into maybe the thousand dollar thousands. Yep. Yep. I've seen a couple thousand dollars. So that's why we want to make sure that your rate lock is either taken care of, which uh, Steve's talking about for extended rate locks or for uh, locking for the right amount of time so that there's no extension needed. Okay, so thank you. That's perfect. And I should just throw it out there if you didn't catch this. Tony had no notice of these questions, okay? <laughs> so, so you're killing that, Tony. So my next one was, what did a normal rate lock scenario look like in 2021? And I feel like you answered that a little bit, uh, where you said like it was 3%, uh, or, or say it was 3%. The rates, yes. Uh, and if it was just 30 days, everything was fine. Was that the norm, that things normally closed in the amount of time? Yeah, yeah, normally they do, and most things do close in the normal amount of time. Uh, where, where, because you you write a contract, you get your realtor, your realtor writes a contract, right. they write the contract for this closing date, and we lock to make sure that we have a, a, a rate lock that's good till that date. Okay. Obviously, if there's any issues or you think there's going to be something that needs to be done, like a roof or something, you'll let us know to give us enough time to make sure the rate lock covers that time. Right. Where extended rate locks come into play is what we see now is with the end loans. An end loan, once again, is somebody who's building a house and the house is going to be finished when the builder's done, which we don't know that date. They can assume that it should be done in eight months or 18 months or whatever the, the, the time frame is. But with weather, rain, 
right. slowing down. We don't know. Yes. With labor force the way it is right now and not being able to get help, we don't know. And with material being stuck out in boats and not being able to get here yeah. for us to use, Good times. Uh, we, we don't know those, those time frames. And we're seeing loans. I have, I have a transaction that was supposed to close October of last year, and this is May, and it's still not closed, and they're probably not closed until July. Wow. Which is almost a year past the day they originally thought. And what was the original interest rate that they were looking at back then? Oh, it, if they could have locked in yeah, back if then. we could have, it would have been in the really low threes at that okay. point. Okay. And uh, right now they're looking at close to six, Okay. unfortunately. That dramatically changes the monthly payment, doesn't it? That does dramatically change the monthly payment. Okay. The good news was is they were locked in on the, the price, so they're built, they built that equity up. With no payments, it was not construction loan. Okay. So, so some good news. Okay, yeah. So, so that's helpful. But even last year, I feel like there wasn't the fear of uh, the interest rates maybe going up dramatically over the next few months mm -hmm. that people are feeling now. I, right. I mean, that's the sense that I'm getting talking to people is, you know, they're concerned that. You know, rates are already getting up around six now. Yep. And there's this just uncertainty of where it's going to go from here. It's true. And we're not we're not sure what's going to happen. And uh, obviously, uh, there's a few things that control rates. One of them is inflation and inflation being so high. I mean, we see it everywhere. We see it in the grocery store. We see it at the gas pump. Uh, we see it with the prices of our houses. Uh, uh, you know, the values have gone up and we also see it with interest rates. Yeah. So we see that has gone up so much. And when the inflation goes up, the government has to raise rates or rates go up in order to slow down inflation. Right. When it costs more to buy the same thing because the interest rates are higher, people quit spending money. Uh, we're starting to see that level off a little bit, but we don't know when it's going to stop and when the rates will slow down. So that's why these extended rate lock options are are really a great option for uh, consumers right now. Okay, so that's, so that's some great foreplay on this thing. But now I'm going to go back to the question that I had when I called you the other day. That yep. is the reason why we're here today. Uh, and that is I need to understand how extended rate locks work work and do you offer them and the reason yep. i need this now where i never needed it before is the things that we've just been talking about i do a fair amount of new construction sales right i help yep. people figure out what builder to go to and what model to get and how to work through you know the upgrades and the lots and all that kind of stuff because there's so much involved in that and as we're having these conversations and they're realizing you know, that they are going to get a mortgage and they don't know how that process works. And I start explaining what I know about it as I'm telling them to listen to your podcast. Uh, you know, they quickly realize that they're concerned about what the interest rate's going to be at the time they can lock in. Right. So that extended rate lock has become a huge topic in conversation with me and my customers and I'm sure plenty of other people as well. Abs absolutely. With us too, so. it is. And, and that's what they want to know because you don't know, uh, as you mentioned before, with the example that we gave before with somebody last year, if rates go up that much again, you don't even know if you can afford your house at that point. Right. So why would you not want to look at some of these options to say, listen, I'm guaranteed to get this rate and, and not have to worry about my payment going up a hundred, 200, $300 a month more because the rates went up a quarter, a half, or even one full percent. Okay, compared to that. so Tony, you have the floor, educate us. Okay, so, so we do have a couple options, and yes, we do offer this, and it's something you definitely wanna know about. We have a, a extended rate lock periods. We do a 90 day, which is gonna be three months, right? Uh, give, you, give you time and closer to the point where you say, hey, my house should be done or will be done in, this, this, in the next 60 days, and maybe we do a 30 days over for rain, labor, and et cetera. Uh, we have another one that's at 120 days, so a four-month period that we can do the same thing. And then we have another one that's 180-day rate, rate lock period, yeah. so it's six months. And, and just so you know, I mean, I've been doing this now since January 15. I've never seen somebody need one of those, ever. Right. So And now it's a little bit more that we need to watch those and, and, and to be secured. Now, here's the good thing. Um, well, let me tell you a little bit about it. Okay. So first of all, with the 90 and 120 days, what we do is we charge the borrower, the buyer, uh, a half percent. So a half percent of a point is going to be based on your loan amount. So once again, if you're borrowing 400000 it would be a $2,000 fee. Okay. You have to pay that during the lock. But if you close, it goes back towards your closing cost. So you get the money back. So it's not like you pay for it and then lose it. As long as you close, you get your money back. Okay. Okay. That seems extremely fair. For the 180 day, you have to pay one point 
So on a $400,000 loan, it's $4,000. But once again, as long as you close and you get the house done, you're going to get the money back towards your, your, your expenses. Okay. So the money comes back to you as long as you get it, which is good because now you're protecting yourself from rates going up. So, Steve, what if rates go down? You're asking me. I am. And that, well, that's the question I would ask you. Exactly. What so, if rates go down? So 180 days is a long time. Well, yeah. rates might go down. Well, with ours, what we have is we have a free float down policy. And once we get a clear to close on your file, meaning that we've been fully approved by underwriting, we have a float down option that allows you to float down to whatever the rate is at that point. Okay. So we get a clear to close and you're ready to close in the next 10, 15 days. I think it's got to be within 30 days. Um, we can do it anywhere between 30 to 30 to 15 days before closing. If rates have dropped by a half percent, I'm going to say, Steve, guess what? I got you a half percent better rate. It costs you nothing, but you only protect yourself from rates going up, not down. Wow. Okay. Great. So if they drop down, you at least get it. Now, since we're on this topic, what if we're, we're going on through this process and it does drop down, but not at the time that you're actually locking it in because it was still a little too far away. So they, they can only do it within 30 days because remember, once again, they have to deliver that new rate to you mm -hmm. and pay for it if it goes up. So if it drops and they give you the lower rate and then the rate goes up, they pay for the difference. Right. Okay. They got to buy it back down for you. Yeah. So it's, it's a courtesy that we do for our consumer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a great courtesy. It is. Absolutely. Okay. So you mentioned a 360-day yep. rate lock on the phone. That seems really extreme to me. So we do. It's not okay. as good as this product, right? Okay. With these products, we're doing what's called a 60-day rate lock, and then we're, we're charging that fee and making sure doing the guarantee. On the 360-day, once again, I mentioned this at the beginning of the, uh, this video, is that with a 15-day rate lock, the rate's the best. Then a 30, 45, 90, 180. The farther out you go, the more it costs you. 360, right. right. So we it. can do a 360, and if it's something that makes somebody feel warm and fuzzy, and it's in the rate's in the right spot, we'll lock it for them. Okay. We still have the float down option. Okay. You don't have to pay the point up front for it because you're just using whatever the rate lock is for one year. But the rate's not going to be as good or as pretty as these would be. Gotcha. So we try to stay within this window, but once again, if it's what the consumer wants, we give them that option and we show them. Okay. These options would be better than the, the, the 360 day okay. rate lock. All right. Uh, it, it's not just new construction, Steve. This could be for somebody, and I mean, obviously you know this, I'm preaching right. to the choir, but uh, for our consumers watching, it's not for somebody who's just building a new house. You might find a house or not be ready to close for 90 days. And if that's the case, or if the seller's not ready to close for 90 days, or you're not ready to move for 90 days because you're selling another house, it's contingent on the sale, or whatever it is, at least you know that your rate's locked in. How would that work for somebody who doesn't even have the house picked out yet? Well, that's another product we have. There you go. Let's talk about that one. All right. So we haven't talked about that yet, but that's actually the next product that we do offer. And we actually just create this product within the last few months. And I'm sure some other lenders have it, but it's one that we have. We call it our lock and shop program. So if we're worried about rates going up, I thought we you were going to say lock and load, that's, lock and shop. That's what I was going for. Lock in the, <laughs> lock okay. in the rate. Gotcha. Go with Steve and shop for a house. Okay. Right. So you go and you shop for the house. So what we're going to do is we're going to give you a 90 day rate lock. Okay. That 90 day rate lock, you're going to, you're going to pay a 1% non uh, refundable deposit, refund, refundable deposit. Okay. okay. So let's say you call, you're like, Hey Tony, I'm going to go shopping for a house. I think rates are going to go up. I'd like to lock in today. Perfect. Let's lock. Then Steve, you and your consumer can go out there, look for a house. You have to find a house in 45 days. Okay. You get a contract on a house in 45 days. We're good to go. If you don't get a house in 45 days, you lose the lock. Your money's refunded to you. No harm, no foul. Wow. Okay. If you do find a house, you're already locked in. You're good to go. We have 45 more days to close. So it's 90 days total. Okay. And it really never takes more than 45 days to close a loan unless there's some situation with the buyer and the seller. But as far as you guys are concerned, I've never seen you. No, should, should not yeah. take more than that. Um, if you are going to contract and you don't close, what we do is we, we take your cost to do the, to do the uh, what you paid for, third-party fees, if you got an appraisal and didn't pay for it, okay. if you had credit report pulled, if you had a survey that you didn't pay for, we take those costs out of the money that you paid and then refund the rest to okay. you. Okay. Because those okay. were costs that you incurred 
on top of your time right. and, and resources, but you're mm-hmm. not charging for any of that. You're just getting reimbursed for actual The bar was just paying for their cost before it's reimbursed. Gotcha. If they paid for it ahead of time, they get 100% of the money back. Okay. Okay. Uh, once again, the, the great thing about that is you're locked in. The only thing you're doing is you're protecting yourself from rates going up. If rates go down, once we get a clear to close, we can float down one time completely free for the consumer. Yeah, I've got to have half a dozen buyers right now that as soon as I get this uploaded, I'm, I'm sending them this because they're almost ready to start shopping. Right. And even if rates go up an eighth, you protected it. Right. Right. If eight, rates go up a quarter, you're protected. If rates go down a quarter or a half or one point, you get the new rate. Mm-hmm. So all you're doing is keeping yourself from going up that eighth, that quarter. Right. You're locking in now to make sure you're okay. But it's not something you don't want to you, you want to do if you're not serious about buying a house. Right. You want to get out there and know that you have 45 days to find the house and get in contract. Right. And I love it that if you don't find one or you don't get one under contract, you actually get your you get 100 percent of your money back. Yeah. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. awesome. Uh, there is one thing that I wanted to hit on, and that is something that's coming up new that I just read about in the news yesterday. And, you know, just to kind of show you how on the ball Tony is, uh, I read this in the news yesterday. I called Tony and he says, well, I didn't even know anybody knew about that yet. I'm going to a class on it when t- tomorrow, tomorrow, yep, on Wednesday. OK, so just, you know, I don't expect you to be an expert in this. It's just a brand new thing and you're about to go get educated. But I'm excited to know that, as always, I can refer my customers to you because you're on top of things. So give us what you do know about this. Give us just like a little sneak peek. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So uh, Steve actually called me. He goes, hey, what about this new Hometown Heroes program that's coming out? And I I was very shocked that you called and asked that or text me about it. And I said, I don't know much about it yet because it literally rolls out on June the 1st, 2022. Uh, It's actually replacing the program that's called SOS, Save Our Soldiers. And it's for uh, first-time responders uh, in our industry who are looking to purchase home, frontline workers, first responders, first fr- uh, frontline workers is how it's frontline. So frontline workers, frontline. Okay. Yes. So home buyers that are frontline workers. Right. Right. Got it. So, okay. uh, it's going to ho- include a, the whole, whole kit and caboodle of police and nursing and, and so forth. Okay. Right. Excellent. Um, we need them to have homes. We want them to stay We here. want them to have homes, and they need to get homes. So what this program does, and this is super important, it gives the buyer down payment and closing cost assistance up to 5% of their uh, loan amount. Which is like pretty much always more than enough to cover closing costs. But cannot exceed $25,000. Okay. So up to $25,000 available. That's a lot of money. For frontline service workers. Yeah. I mean, the most I see closing costs on on loans is maybe like around 15 grand normally. Uh, But on jumbo loans. Down payment also. Oh, down payment. It's down payment and closing costs. Oh, holy cow. So it's a down payment assistance program for frontline workers. Right. Okay. Hometown Heroes is the program. It rolls out on June the 1st. And uh, also, too, uh, it says that it is below market interest rate for first mortgages for not only conventional, but government loans for our VA and uh, FHA borrowers. Okay. So is this a Florida thing or a United States thing? Do you know? Uh, it's, uh, it's Florida hometown heroes. Florida. So there might be one in other states, but I'm not sure. That's... Okay. Well, because I have a nurse right now that is moving here from California. She would qualify. She would qualify. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Did you hear that? <laughs> I almost called her by name, but I'm not going to put going to put her out there. Yeah, she she would qualify. I'm guessing she's getting a job here as a nurse, right? Yeah. That's what the income we're going to use. That's, yes. So she's going to work because she's currently a hero, and will be a hero here also. For That's us. a beautiful thing. Mm-hmm. Yep. I don't know how much money is available. I don't know what the qualification uh, parameters are. Uh, literally, I got guidelines. Email me today. Yeah, okay. I learned about <laughs> the program on Monday, okay. <laughs> and uh, uh, and I will know a lot more. And we're actually going to do another video about it. Okay. Yes, we need to. Yes. Yes. As soon as you got this figured out, Tony, thank you for being the expert in mortgages in my life. You're welcome. And I always appreciate you being on our podcast. I appreciate you. Thank you. All righty. I want to own a place like the ones you see, maybe near the beach or a golf course green. You're searching on the web and housing magazines. It's time you call Steve Martin Homes to reach your dreams. We sell Sarasota. to 
sampling of beautiful homes that we've helped homeowners sell and buy across the greater Sarasota County area. Sellers enjoy our value added and customizable listing packages while our buyers just love getting their offers accepted. Everyone needs a realtor they can trust. So what are you waiting for? 941-894-9800, stevemartinhomes.com.